Hey guys, this is Josh Farley back with another video. Um, in this video, I just wanted to uh, actually bring some exciting news um, for people that actually own the uh, Google Pixel 8, um, the regular model, not actually the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Um, so uh, I was actually um, talking about on my channel a few weeks ago um, why I didn't really care about um, you know the uh, new Google um, Gemini Nano AI. Um, and, you know, I, I talked about, you know, I made a video about it, why I wasn't actually going to be upgrading my Google Pixel 8 um, to the Google Pixel 8 Pro or the Google Pixel 9 Pro um, or, you know, uh, you know, further generations of the Google Pixel. Um, so I thought more about it and I thought to myself, you know, I, I made another video on my channel and I, I thought more about it. Um, and, and I'm going to actually be, uh, I actually did upgrade to the Google Pixel 8 Pro. I'm not going to actually be doing it. I already did. Um, I already have it. I'm probably going to make another video about that today um, on my channel. Um, I'm actually uh, still recording with my Google Pixel 8 right now. Um, but um, I, I wanted to mainly get the Google Pixel 8 Pro because of future-proofing reasons. Um, so that's, you know, basically the main reason um, that I actually upgraded from my Google Pixel 8 to the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Um, so I'm going to be sending this, uh, the one that I'm actually recording with now, the Google Pixel 8. Um, I'm actually going to be sending this back um, to Best Buy, or not actually back, I'm going to be trading it in. Um, I actually did buy this from Amazon originally, um, but I'm going to be trading it in because it was part of a uh, trade-in deal for the Google Pixel 8 Pro, um, the 256 gigabyte model. Um, so not only did I, you know, think about it more, I thought about it more in a hardware, um, you know, basically a hardware, um, you know, point of view. Um, I wanted to actually get more RAM, um, which the Google uh, Pixel 8 Pro has over the Google Pixel 8. Um, and I also wanted to get, um, you know, more gigabytes of storage as well, um, you know, for the longevity, you know, for more, you know, longevity, um, you know, because um, there's there's just a bunch of stuff, you know, getting bigger nowadays, like with, uh, you know, app updates, you know, system updates, um, Android updates, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, like apps and stuff are just getting bigger updates and stuff. Um, and you have to keep in mind, you know, that uh, a portion, you know, a part of that, um, you know, with the with the gigabytes of storage, you know, most of that is actually going to be taken up um, by the system utilities, you know, the system stuff. Um, of Android, so you have to realize that Android, um, you know, because because it's more powerful and stuff, um, you know, than an iPhone, you know, iOS, um, if you will, you know, which is definitely true. It's definitely more powerful than iOS um, because it has a lot more features and stuff, you know, a lot more, um, you know, that you can do, you know, right out of the box and stuff, um, you know, without even rooting it or anything. But I do root my phones. Um, I have my Google Pixel 8 Pro. Um, rooted as well, and I'm a Google uh, Pixel 8 rooted as well, um, as you can see right there with Majisk, because I, I'm, I'm one to think, you know, I'm not going to really talk much about this, because this isn't really the video, um, but I'm, you know, one that actually, if your phone isn't rooted, um, you know, I, I just think that you're not getting the best out of your phone, you know, I don't think that you're using it to its full potential, um, you know, and I, and I buy unlocked phones only, I, so I can use them on any carrier, um, if I ever choose to switch, you know, to another carrier, I'm most likely not, um, I'm actually with T-Mobile, I've been with them for years, um, you know, and I'm probably not going to change or anything, because I've been, you know, very happy with them, um, but, um, you know, back to the video here, what I'm actually, you know, trying to get out here, um, I, I thought about it more, and I thought to myself, you know, about the Gemini Nano AI, um, I thought to myself, well, you know, not only, you know, would I be getting that, but I would also be getting, you know, more uh, gigabytes of RAM, um, I would be getting more, you know, storage, um, I would be getting, you know, just a all-around all better phone, you know, a bigger screen, um, a better camera, um, you know, the, the same, you know, basically the same stuff, um, you know, with the operating system, you know, that the Google Pixel 8 has, you know, that, that has the same, um, you know, operating system as the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Um, but, you know, you're just getting an all-around better phone, you know, and I actually got it on sale um, for $250 off when Best Buy was still having that sale. 
Um, I don't know if they're still having it or not. I'll probably make an updated video on that if they still are or not. Um, but uh, I got it for $250 off at Best Buy. Um, plus, I got like a 5% back on my on my Best Buy credit card. So that's definitely not bad. Um, and then, um, you know, with the trade-in value for my Google Pixel 8, I actually they're actually giving me $340. Um, so that's definitely not bad at all, you know. So basically, I saved like around $650, um, you know, on the Google Pixel 8 Pro, and it's a better phone. Um, so, you know, I I'm not like bashing the Google Pixel 8 um, because they're actually going to be supporting it um, with the Gemini Nano AI, and that's the good thing, you know, that I'm actually trying to get to in this video. Um, I know I, you know, somewhat went off topic there, but, um, this is really good news for, uh, Google Pixel 8 owners. They're actually going to be supporting, um, the Google Pixel 8 with the Gemini Nano, um, AI, all of the features, so that's a really good thing. Um, so they might have actually heard, you know, either my video, um, or people's, you know, disappointment on Reddit because people have really been voicing their opinion, um, you know, about not being able to use, you know, the top, the top features of, uh, you know, Google Gemini Nano AI, which, I, which, you know, I get, you know, I understand it, you know, I think it was a bunch of BS, um, you know, that they couldn't run it on the regular Google Pixel 8, you know, people were saying, um, there's a guy on YouTube that actually goes more into detail about, it, and I agree with him 100%, um, it's using the same processor, um, the Google Pixel 8 has the same processor, it has the same, uh, tensor chip in it, um, the only difference is it has 8 gigabytes of RAM, um, which is still quite a bit, you know, in the, in the standard, you know, today, that's even good enough, um, you know, basically for a, for a computer, you know, 8 gigabytes of RAM, um, you know, a Microsoft Surface, you know, laptop or something like that, um, you know, that's, that's more than enough, you know, for, you know, basic tasks and stuff, um, you know, like a, like a phone will do, you know, you know, just basic stuff that you needed to do. Um, you know, if you're gonna, you know, be hardcore gaming on a Google Pixel phone or something, you know, that's, um, you know, you could probably get away with that on the Google Pixel 8 Pro, um, you know, some hardcore games, you know, from Google Play or whatever, um, but, uh, you know, the Google Pixel 8 would probably, you know, notice some slowdowns, you know, with the, um, you know, with gaming and stuff, um, but, you know, the, the Google, uh, Gemini Nano AI doesn't take much to run, um, and that's actually what Tech Odyssey said on, on his YouTube channel, I'll leave his link down below in the description, um, he has more, you know, detailed, uh, information on it, um, so it, it's, you know, basically, um, like they were just holding out, you know, like they were trying to get people to buy the Google Pixel 8 Pro, um, over the Google Pixel 8, you know, so, um, you know, they would have Gemini Nano AI features, you know, more Gemini Nano AI features, um, than the Google Pixel 8 actually has, so, you know, it's kind of like a, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really know why they did it, you know, at first they said that they weren't going to be giving the features to the, to the Google Pixel 8, um, and now they're saying that they are, and these are reliable sources, so you can see right here, um, uh, 9 to 5 Google, um, it says Google bringing Gemini Nano to Pixel 8 with next feature drop, um, and then another reliable source, The Verge, um, it says surprise, uh, Google will let the Google, uh, the Pixel 8 run on, uh, device AI after all, um, and then another reliable source, you know, the reliable source after reliable source here, um, GSM Arena, um, and then it says, uh, Google Pixel 8 will get on device Gemini Nano AI after all, um, and then, uh, Android Authority, um, Google confirms Gemini Nano will, uh, come to the regular Google P uh, Pixel 8 after all, updated, um, and then it says here, um, Gemini Nano by, by Tech Radar, um, you know, just a bunch of them, you know, a bunch of reliable sources. Gemini Nano uh, will indeed roll out to the Pixel 8 despite claims of hardware limitations. So that's the thing, you know, it's not, it, it's not hardware limited, guys. You know, it's, you know, it, it, it doesn't take much to run a Gemini Nano AI, you know, it just doesn't. It, it doesn't take much to run it, you know, it doesn't take much to run an AI because Samsung um, is actually saying that they're bringing uh, the Galaxy AI to my mom's Google, I mean, to my mom's Samsung Galaxy S22. So if a Samsung Galaxy S22, um, which is like almost three years old now, um, can run, you know, Galaxy AI, then the Google Pixel 8, um, or even older Google Pixel phones can run it. You know, I would even have to say, um, that maybe even the Google Pixel 7a, which I also own, um, could run it, or the Google Pixel Fold, which is, you know, like a $10,000 phone, um, 
and they haven't actually had said anything about that if that's actually going to support it so that's definitely not good um you know a ten thousand dollar phone you know and it's not going to support um you know google you know gemini nano ai that's pretty uh bad if they don't um you know i i never bought that phone because i thought it was overpriced um, you know, to start with, I, I would never spend that much money on a phone, to be honest with you guys, um, you know, I, I, I'm, you know, fine with, you know, the pro model, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, most likely keep this phone for a while, the Google Pixel 8 Pro, um, you know, that's why I got it, you know, that's why I upgraded to it, because of the, um, you know, the more RAM, um, you know, the more storage, you know, I'll be set for a few years at least, um, you know, with that, and if I decided to upgrade to the Google Pixel 9 Pro, um, you know, depending on how it is, you know, if I think it's worthy, you know, to upgrade or whatever, um, you know, I would also get more money, um, you know, for a trade-in, you know, because if you spend more money on a phone, um, obviously you're, you're gonna get, you know, more, um, you know, trade-in value, especially if you take care of it, um, you know, you're gonna get, you know, more of a trade-in value, you know, depending on the, um, you know, the outcome of the phone, you know, if you take care of it, if it has scratches, um, you know, I take care of my phones, I buy, you know, top-of-the-line cases, um, you know, I take very well, you know, very good care of my phones, um, you know, I, I buy cases with built-in screen protectors, um, you know, I, I, you know, some people would probably say I go the extra mile, I know my sister would say that, um, because she has an iPhone 12, and she doesn't really take care of it like I would, um, she has, you know, no screen protector on it, just a, uh, you know, a normal, um, you know, like, bumper case on it, you know, she just doesn't take care of it, um, she was so, showing me pictures, we actually have kittens, um, that my mom and me are taking care of, and my sister occasionally comes over, um, she doesn't live that far from me or my mom, um, um, and, and she'll come over sometimes, and she was, you know, filming the kittens and stuff, um, and, you know, filming the mommy cat and everything, and, you know, taking pictures of them and everything, um, and she showed me her phone, and, and her phone, um, you know, the, the, um, the Apple iPhone 12 that she has, um, you know, it was scratched, like the screen was scratched, you know, it had a bunch of, you know, deep scratches in the screen, and, and I told her, I said, you know, why don't you get a, a screen protector, you know, for your phone, I said, it's a little late, a little late now, I said, but, you know, you could also get the screen replaced, um, and then, you know, get a screen protector, and, you know, that wouldn't happen, and she just says, no, I'm not worried about that, like you are, Josh, and stuff like that, you know, and, but, you know, that's her, that's her, I'm not gonna, you know, really go too much into that, that's, you know, her, but, you know, when she goes to trade in her phone one day, um, or something, and they offer her, like, 10 or 20 dollars, you know, uh, <laughs> she better not come to me and ask why, because I'm gonna be like, you know, well, you didn't take care of your phone, so, um, so you have to definitely keep that in mind, you know, you have to definitely take care of your phone, um, you know, to be able to get a better trade-in value, and I, you know, definitely do, um, so that's, you know, why I take care of my phones, for one, you know, so I can get a better trade-in value, um, you know, for, you know, for it back, you know, if I decide to upgrade, um, or whatever, so, um, so basically, um, you know, that's the video, guys, you know, I, I, you know, I went off topic a little bit there, um, you know, with stuff, but, you know, um, I like to, you know, talk about technology and stuff, and like I said, I like to keep you guys updated with stuff, um, so, you know, if I were you guys, you know, I would probably give this a second thought, though, if the Google Pixel 8 Pro, um, is still on sale, I would probably, um, I would probably say even though the Google Pixel 8, um, the regular model is, uh, getting the Gemini Nano AI features, um, I would probably stay away from the, from the 128 gigabyte model, um, if you're trying to future-proof, I would definitely go for the 256 gigabyte model, um, and, you know, the 8 gigabytes of RAM, you know, obviously you're not going to get more RAM because that's a, you know, Google Pixel 8 Pro thing, um, but, you know, 8 gigabytes of RAM, you know, is plenty, you know, I, I just wanted to upgrade for the more gigas, gigabytes of RAM, the future-proof, um, so it's basically up to you guys, you know, if you want a future proof or not, um, and, you know, I, like I said, I didn't really do this, you know, um, because of the, because of the Gemini Nano AI, um, I didn't, you know, upgrade to the Google Pixel 8 Pro just to have the Gemini Nano AI, that wasn't, you know, the case, I wasn't really mad, 
um, you know, about not having the Gemini Nano AI, but it's actually coming to the Google Pixel 8 now. Um, so, you know, I'm happy for Google Pixel 8 owners, you know, that, you know, are going to have the Google Pixel 8, you know, for seven or six, you know, so years, um, you know, if they still support it. Um, and that's actually another thing that actually worries me about the Google Pixel 8, um, because they're actually saying, there's actually been people saying on Reddit and stuff, um, and actually Tech Odyssey is one of them, like I said, I'll leave his link down below in the description to his channel, um, he, he's actually talked about the Google Pixel 8, um, and if it's actually going to get eight years of support for the updates, um, you know, Android updates, so, um, that's another thing that I, you know, kept in mind, you know, with the Pro model, um, you know, you're more, more than likely, you know, going to be able to get, um, you know, eight, you know, eight to seven years out of that, um, but with the Google Pixel 8, I'm not actually so sure, so I don't like to have that, um, you know, like fear that I might not get, you know, seven to eight years of, uh, you know, promised updates, you know, with the Google Pixel 8 Pro, um, especially with the 256 gigabyte model, um, and the, and the, uh, 12 gigabyte model for the RAM, um, you know, I kind of feel, um, like, you know, with the Pro model, I kind of feel like with the Pro model that I would get more, um, you know, I would, I would definitely, um, be cemented into getting seven to eight years of, um, excuse me, of, you know, security updates and, you know, Android updates, um, so, you know, you have to keep that in mind when you're buying stuff, you know, I didn't really think about that much, um, but I thought about it, you know, and I thought to myself, you know, well, um, you know, I'm going to give it a, a second, you know, thought here, and I did actually, you know, decide to upgrade to the Google Pixel 8 Pro, um, because I only have 128 gigabytes, um, on this phone, and I can actually show you guys, that's not very much when it comes to things, um, as you can see right there, I already have 32% used, um, that's, that, that, that might not seem like a lot, but I'm already down to 86.82 gigabytes, um, and, you know, that's, that's not really, really much, you know, compared to when you're, um, you know, if you're going to take a lot of photos, um, if you're going to take a lot of videos, you know, I just like to have, um, you know, that, that, uh, you know, that knowingly, um, that I have more storage, you know, I don't want to have to come in there, um, and clear my caches and all that, you know, I don't want to have to use an app like, uh, SD made here, um, and come in and, you know, clear my cache, um, all the time, you know, and, and, you know, just stuff like that, you know, I don't have to worry about deleting apps, um, you know, removing apps off of my phone because I'm running low on storage. Now, have I ever had the storage, um, actually run low? Have I ever had it, um, actually come up and say low storage? No, I haven't. Um, but, you know, I, I don't want to have to, you know, go into my settings all the time and, and, um, you know, look at my storage and be like, oh, my storage is getting low, time to run the cache cleaner, um, you know, SD mate or whatever you have, um, you know, to run your, you know, your cache cleaner. You know, there's, there's a few of them out there, you know, like C cleaner. Um, I actually use that for my computers. My mom uses it for her computer, um, you know, C cleaner, stuff like that, um, you know, for cleaning your cache and getting, you know, more, um, you know, megabytes or gigabytes back. Um, but, you know, cache cleaners do work, but, you know, the thing is, um, they work, but then, you know, it's going to build back up again and your, your storage is going to go back down to low, um, because when you use apps all the time, um, you know, or update apps all the time, you know, and, and use them, um, you know, the cache builds up in them. So, um, you know, in, unless you have like some automated thing, which you can actually do that, um, with SD, SD made, but you, it requires root access. Um, but I'll actually leave a link down below to both of them. I actually have C cleaner. Um, you can actually go into Google play store here. I can actually type it in here. And this is actually the best one for non root, uh, users. So, I'll leave a link down below in the description to both of these, C Cleaner and uh, SD Made. Um, but, you know, that's basically the video, guys. You know, I just wanted to, um, you know, get this video out there and talk about this. Um, I, you know, like I said, I think it is really good for Google Pixel 8 users. Um, but then again, you also have to realize um, that they're, you know, not really set in stone with the Google Pixel 8. Um, you know, moving forward, you know, they're saying that it's going to get the nano, um, you know, updates and everything now, um, but is it going to get, you know, more features in the future? That's the thing, you know, is it going to get those eight years of updates, um, you know, Android security patches and updates, um, you know, major updates, is it going to get those, um, for eight years, you know, you have to kind of think about that, um, because every, every time, you know, a new Android update comes out, you know, it takes up more space, um, so, if I were you guys, I would definitely get the Google Pixel 8 um, Pro um, if you can, you know, if you can afford it. If you can't, 
um, I would definitely look into getting the Google Pixel 8, you know, the regular version um, with 256 gigabytes of storage, no less. Um, you know, or the 500 and some, you know, if you need that much, but I, I don't really need that much, you know, most people don't, um, but, um, you know, I, I would definitely, you know, do that, you know, if you're looking into getting the Google Pixel 8, um, or the Google Pixel 8 Pro, I would definitely, um, you know, I, I would go more for the Pro, you know, like I said, you know, if you can afford it, um, you know, it has been on sale recently, it's been on sale for $250 off, um, and then you, if you have a phone on top of that, you, you can trade in like I do, um, you know, and it's in mint condition, you know, they'll give you like $340 for it. Um, and that's definitely not bad considering that the Google Pixel 8, um, you know, new was on sale for like 500 and some, uh, for the 128 gigabyte model. But like I said, um, I would definitely, you know, if you can afford it, I would definitely go, um, with the Google Pixel 8 Pro, um, over the Google Pixel 8, you know, especially for future proofing reasons. Um, and not only that, you know, like I said, it just has more RAM, you know, again, future proofing. Um, you know, it has more RAM, it has a better screen, um, it has a better camera, you know, it has, it's most likely going to get more features than the Google Pixel 8 moving forward. Um, but, you know, like I said, if you can, um, you know, if you can afford that, you know, if you want to go with the Google Pixel 8, um, I highly recommend getting the 256 gigabyte model, um, you know, over the 128 gigabyte model just for future proofing reasons. So, um, that's all I got in this video, guys. You know, I just wanted to make a video, um, and talk about this. You know, I did make, you know, I did, uh, go off topic a little bit there. Um, but, you know, like I said, I like to keep you guys in the loop. I like to talk about technology, um, and I definitely definitely wanted to let you guys know about this if you didn't know about this um, especially for those of you that are looking to you know possibly purchase a Google Pixel 8 or a Google Pixel 8 Pro um, you know this is definitely you know good news um, you know regarding Google Pixel 8 users more than Google Pixel 8 Pro users um, so anyway yeah guys like I said um, I just wanted to get this video out there and if you guys like this video please like and subscribe and until next time guys